Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today is a weird discussion type video. I just want to ask one question. Is anyone else as excited as I am for the holidays coming around and into Fortnite, specifically Fortnite Mares and Christmas? This is my absolute favorite time to play Fortnite. Let's start with Halloween since October is already here and they're already starting so strong with the skins. The skins are probably my favorite part of Fortnite Mares. Epic's creative team in making these skins definitely do their best work here. I swear, they get better every year. Literally last year, I dropped so much money on their sets. The Delirium set is one of my absolute favorites that have ever come out into Fortnite, and that is literally just one set. Now, the skins are really awesome, but the gameplay is, of course, the best. I can't remember whether Horde Rush was a Halloween mode or not. For some reason, I don't think it was. But even if it wasn't, they could certainly bring that back for Fortnite Mares. It, honestly, it really fit the theme. The Storm King was something new and fun. Wasn't really for me, but it was interesting and different. I absolutely loved Horde Rush though. However, I really love the old Fortnite Mares game mode. I loved how chaotic the game got with zombies running around everywhere, especially in endgames. It was crazy, different, and a ton of fun. My favorite part about all of it was the fog on the map. With, ha with the Halloween update then, every place was decorated beautifully to fit the Halloween theme, and the fog on the map just it, it really topped it off. Not only was it visually pleasing, but it changed up the game enough for it to feel really crazy fresh. You didn't really use snipers at all, and you couldn't see teams coming at times, especially when you were busy fighting zombies. It was just a lot of fun. It really was, and I was really hoping for it to make a return last year. Instead, Epic changed things up a little bit. It seems to me like they made cosmetics and the Storm King their main focus, and honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. I just really miss the Fortnite Mares mode a lot. However, something awesome that Epic introduced last year were the zombie soccer skins, where they would jump out and scare you randomly as you harvested materials. I thought that was a fantastic touch to the game, and I really hope they bring that back. Literally, the first time a zombie scared me, I jumped out of my seat. It was just a wonderful and well-thought-out touch to the game, and I hope they find something else awesome like that. And that's why I love Halloween and Fortnite. They really, really do their holidays well. And speaking of holidays, let's touch on Christmas. Now, I'll start off by saying that I am a huge Christmas guy. Once December hits, I turn on that Christmas music and enjoy the holiday spirit. I also really, really love snow. I live in Canada and we have really snowy Christmases. It's beautiful. And that's something that Epic captures so well with their game. First off, the snow. When Epic adds snow to the Fortnite, my heart just gets so happy. In season seven, when they brought the snowy by me, it was so crazy and I loved it so much. However, I feel like Epic did an even better job last year. Remember that loading screen or battle pass screen, whatever it was, where we got taken to Crackshot's cabin and I still can't believe that POI is gone by the way, it was way too awesome to get rid of. <laughs> Anyways, you could go into the cabin and open up one present a day and not only were the presents really cool, but it fit the entire Christmas theme. You could look around, play music, watch the fire, literally you could do anything like that. It was amazing and I really, really hope to see its return this year. I also hope that we can see the return of some famous Christmas items like the snowball launcher, snow men and my all-time favorite the chiller grenades not only was it a hype way to get a win but man was it fun to kill your teammates if you're a scumbag like me something missing from last year was the ice storm game mode and while that didn't really feel too Christmassy, and i didn't really have too much of an attachment with it it was a really fun mix-up and i'm always down for hordes honestly <laughs> i did however love the snowy fog around the map for the same reasons as i mentioned earlier and speaking of weather i have to mention one of my all-time favorite additions to fortnite the blizzard Man, I can't even tell you how cool this was. I wanted actual feather in Fortnite forever, and we finally got it, and I, I really can't believe it only stuck around for a couple weeks. Not only was it absolutely stunning to look at, but the whole idea of it spawning randomly on the map and having it harder to see if you're in the eye was just so awesome. If one thing comes back this year, I really hope it's that. I know a lot of people didn't play Chapter 2 Season 1, and boy did they miss out on a good time. I hope more people can experience it, and selfishly for me because I really want to play it again. <laughs> to sum it all up though, I really can't wait for Christmas and Fortnite, not only in game, but outside the game as well. I love being so snowed in that all your friends want to play video games. The real life snow fits the Christmas spirit, and I can hop on a Fortnite with a hot chocolate by my side and experience some more Christmas spirit. Man, I went way deeper into this video than I intended, so I'll call it there guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything I talked about in this video. Are you just excited as I am for the holidays to come to Fortnite? Let me know down below guys, I would absolutely love to talk about it there as usual. Fort Nightmares is starting up. It's October. The up I don't know when this video is going out, but the updates should be very, very soon, and I'm really excited for it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you enjoy the content, please consider giving the video a like. It would help out the channel a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more Fortnite and Smash Bros. content. Thank you again, everybody. Don't forget to comment, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.